Music has always been a part of Hannah Shute's life. She started with piano when she was six or seven, but then had the choice to join band or orchestra. Cello called out to me, so I, I picked the cello. That was when I was 12, and I've been playing ever since. But before she picked up an instrument, she had another passion. I started soccer also pretty young, so probably when I was five, and you know, that, that love for soccer and that passion just kept going throughout my years. She is just an incredibly talented uh, person in a number of different ways and we're lucky to have her here. Dr. Nick Curry, associate professor of cello at UNF, worked with Hannah when she was a sophomore in high school and knew he wanted to get her in his program here in Jacksonville. So I was trying to communicate with the women's soccer staff as well to see if we could figure this out and she ended up coming for kind of a day where they invite prospective soccer players and Hannah really, really did well and so the next day the soccer coach was in my office and she had been so impressed by Hannah and she was like, we got to figure out how to get her here. So, But last year, she had a difficult decision to make. Continue with soccer or continue with cello. And by coming to the University of North Florida, she was able to do both for a while. Cello won out and now I'm a cellist full time. She is one of a select few from around the world participating in an international seminar this summer. It's only 10 cellists get to go each year. It's a little house in Sitka, Alaska, where 10 cellists and two major cello teachers. And after that, she's going straight to Italy for an international music festival where she was admitted. And so for her to get the chance to represent UNF and to go be surrounded by elite musicians that are her age, um, it's just an incredible opportunity. And long term, Hannah sees her future in music. I think that I'd like to either work in a symphony. I'd love to teach lessons to either young kids or to more advanced students.